Good evening friends, how are you all? Today I would like to share with you one of the most useful and beneficial tip in Microsoft Excel in the, the one of the advanced Excel features, especially for those who are uh, dealing with uh, extensive and voluminous data and you are doing an extensive data analysis uh, using pivot tables uh, and in which case you come across a situation where you want text to be visible in the value field of pivot tables. Normally pivot tables are intended to show the numbers in the value field of pivot. But what if you would want the text in pivot table value field? There are more situations than we expect wherein we need a text in the value field simply because we need that report, we need that voluminous data to be organized in the way it is required for the management reporting or whoever the stakeholder that they need the report to be like that. So I would be explaining you in the coming video um, and sharing my screen on how we would be able to do this um, option of bringing the text in the value field of pivot table, which is a very useful function for those who, you, who look for uh, this function specially. Uh, without this function, the only way to do this is to do these things manually, which will take ages for anyone to, to do this kind of uh, big and voluminous data and making the text. But with this tip and uh, uh, option in the pivot table, your life will become so much easier and uh, you can, you can uh, uh, feel uh, breathe free uh, by having this option and uh, to reach your uh, desirable results. Let's jump into that uh, video. Hey guys, today I would like to show you a small tip on how we would be able to bring the text in the value field of pivot table. Normally, when you prepare a pivot table in the value field of the pivot table, you would only be able to get the numbers. For example, I'm having a dummy sample data. I will simply show you uh, by inserting a pivot table for this raw data. Go to the new sheet, click OK and there is a pivot table and uh, I'm just dragging order ID in the rows and uh, salesperson's name in the columns and the product name. What I need in this scenario is the names of the product in text in the values. But when I drag and drop the product name in the values area, only numbers are visible. I don't need the numbers, I need the text. Even if one salesperson with the same order ID, if he had uh, sold, for example, 50 pieces of products, all the 50 pieces of product, product names should be visible in this values area. How can it be done? By default, pivot tables are intended to show the numbers in the value field of the pivot table. If you want text uh, to be brought and to be visible in the value area because you need the report to be like that as required by uh, the required stakeholder, the management or whosoever, then you need to do a, a different option uh, which I would be explaining you. Okay, let me just uh, delete this uh, pivot table for the time being. Okay, see this is the raw data as I, as I told you. As you see here, the company name, country, salesperson, order ID, order date, ship the date, product name, unit price, quantity and total. Now, for the end results to be reached, what you need to do, you need to check the raw data first and you need to make it in a table format. What does it mean by making it in a table format? See, you need to select all the data and go to home and here there is an option format as table click and whichever the format you would like the the layout should be you can select accordingly for example like this click ok now you selected the entire range of the source data and make it in a table tabular format this is a, one of the very important mandatory prerequisites for uh, your data to be converted into text in the value field of the pivot. So without doing that, you would not be able to reach that. So ensure that you do this step as a first step. Okay, then what you would have to do, just go to the top and insert a pivot table as normal. Select the whole data range, go to insert, click pivot table, 
Before clicking OK, you have to stop for a while. What you need to do is also the second very important step, which is add this data to the data model. You have to check it. By default, it is unchecked. You have to check it. Why do you need to do this? Uh, in order for you to be able to do this uh, bringing of uh, text in the value, the standard pivot table would not be doing. Uh, as I told, standard pivot table would bring only the number values in the value field of the pivot. So, for you to be able to bring the bring the text in the value, there is one option which is not directly from the pivot, which is from the Power BI. We are going to write a small code from the Power Query of the Excel. There is a power query. Power query is a big subject. It's a vast area and it's one you have to study a lot. It's an advanced Excel area where you can write similar to how you do visual basic coding in VBA coding and you know MS SQL. It's a, a small function specific coding on its own actually. But for you to do to do this text bringing to the value, one of the small code of Power BI will help. But for you to be able to do the Power BI, you have to click this, add this to the data model, then only you would be able to be functional in writing such codes in the Power BI. Okay, Power Query or Power BI. So click it, click OK. The same thing, you would not have any difference. Uh, you know, as the next step, you would be getting the <coughs> pivot table. Uh, format the normal layout all right now what you need to do similar to how i showed you last time you put order id in the rows and salesperson in the column let me make it a big a little bit zoom big and you need to have this product name as a text in values now if you drag again you will be seeing the numbers only now it is not the time you have to do one step so let us bring it back what you need to now is very important just uh, uh, watch it guys carefully now what you need to do is go here to the pivot table fields on the top there is a table one yeah the name of the table table one see if you go here to the raw data by default when you change the whole source data as a table format it is stored as table one how you know that what what is your table name go to the table design by clicking here but once you change your data into table format the whole data uh, i mean uh, wherever you click uh, in any part of the table and go to the table design and go here the table name is visible table one by default it is table one if you make one more table it comes as a table two okay so go back to the pivot table so it's table one right click this table one there is one add measure this add measure option would only be visible when you make your source data available in data model which is what you did in the dialog box by checking it actually. So if you didn't do that you would not be able to do this add measure. So make sure that you click that add the data to the data model in the previous step. So click this add measure. Here comes a new dialog box. Measure, measure. This is very important word in the Power BI. See, for any small transaction to happen, they used to call it as a measure. Within the measure, you can write different code here in this uh, area. It's called a DAX, I mean DAX formula actually. Yeah. So basically, you would be writing a very simple, simplified, you know, straightforward codes in here, which is not similar to the Excel function codes. The syntax is different actually. That's why you have to learn a lot. But for this function of bringing the text as a value field, uh, the code that you are going to use, I will teach you how to do that. So as you see here, the table is shown as table one, which is what I explained you and showed you the table name. Measure name, you can write whatever you want. For example, you know, let's type, for example, uh, text in value of pivot. Now just for the, the self-explanatory note, text in value of pivot. Okay, here what you need to do, there is one uh, Power BI syntax, the Power BI code you have to write, concatenate text, concatenate. You know concatenate in Excel, concatenate is, com is uh, combining the, the text in uh, two different cells and you can uh, combine it with any connector actually. Yeah. So the same thing, concatenate text 
concatenate x open bracket okay what you are going to concatenate table 1 from table 1 when you type tab table automatically the table 1 that you already fetched the data in pivot or is visible click table 1 okay then click comma expression expression is what see you what is the intention of this exercise you wanted to bring the text uh, the, the product names as a text for one salesperson for uh, uh, order ID which is in multiple uh, you know product names so each product name should be brought in one cell with a connector of uh, you know um, uh, with a connector of a comma so when after concatenate and put table 1 comma then you need to put table 1 which field you want to bring here as a text table 1 click again table 1 automatically it is coming it, within table 1 there are multiple fields whatever the fields in the raw data and in the pivot table it is visible here table 1 and what you want to bring is product name which is this one yeah which is what uh, we already we, we, we have been discussing from the beginning product name comma then you have to put the connector which connector you want to concatenate it with because there is going to be multiple product names if you don't put any connector uh, all the names are combined between each other with no uh, you know differentiation which will be a mess so you have to put a connector open double quotes and put comma space close double quotes that's it so each product name is uh, separated by one comma then close it this is this is I will make it big this is the code concatenate is equal to concatenate x with open bracket table 1 which is our table comma table 1 product name we want to bring product names comma then within double quotes comma as a connector for con concatenate x whenever you write a code in power bi you have to check dax formula you have to check it if there is an error it will show if there is no error it will show no error click the formula has no errors because we typed it correct and by default the category is general let it be like that click ok alright that's it now if you want to you know you let's assume you by mistake you did uh, incorrect uh, typing of the code then you have to go right click uh, or see okay uh, uh, instead of going there uh, uh, let me explain you the next step once you create this concatenate x code and makes this new measure for the text to be brought to the value of the pivot if you go down see whatever the measure that you created is already visible here text of value pivot this is the name that you gave for the measure and within this measure the action of bringing the text is embedded okay so if you want to change something right click this and edit measure Th then again the dialog box comes and your previously written code is visible here and you can make any change here click ok otherwise now it is time to drag the product name to values and it will show text but which one to bring not this product name if you bring this product name again it shows numbers only where we embed our measure we embedded our measure in the this uh, uh, field this is the pivot this pivot table field has the new measure that we wrote and this has the assignment of bringing the text from the raw data so just drag and drop here that's it see let me make it small now whoever see i make it very small for you to get a bird's eye view look on the whole data see now for you to to, to be able to see a, you know realistic one let me go above control home okay and uh, let me click this I will make it uh, I will make this data visible to you in a nice way um, before that you know go to the data and click the grand totals off which is not required actually yeah so basically report layout sorry uh, off for rows sorry report layout totals of rows of rows and columns okay now you will simply go here and make uh, the column uh, width small 
you know for you to be able to see this in a for your naked eyes i will show you here okay now make the data wrap text actually yeah it's already wrap text now you will be just make the data a little bit bigger so now what you are seeing is the data what you need for example this is the the order uh, id and this is the salesman so the salesman abdullah yasin the salesman abdullah yasin for this product id 10 to 50 he sold england chow chowder dried apples hot pepper sauce these three products likewise each salesman for different order ids they sold this different items so this is very useful and handy function for those people who needs reports like this because most of the times you know for hr guys we used to have position matrix and job family where if we do it manually the, our whole life will go in making the job family only so this is the best way to do this uh, power bi query uh, use this power bi query to bring the text values in here so that the life your life will become easy you don't have to do things manually hope this uh, this is of use for you guys and if you have any queries or clarifications please feel free to uh, leave your uh, uh, questions and queries in the comment actually hope this is of help for you guys thank you so much for watching this video have a fantastic evening ahead thank you guys